there's a really long answer to give there, but truthfully, it doesn't matter if it's getting a girl or it's making money or it's getting status. It doesn't matter what it is. As a man, we live in hyper competitive environments. I don't think enough men understand how competitive the world is. If you want a girl, you're competing against other men. You're not the only man who had the idea of getting that girl. There's no girl you're going to see and go, oh, I'll get that girl and didn't cross anyone else's mind. Everybody else wants her. You have to outcompete other men. You have to be as competitive as possible. You have to be as successful as possible in all realms. You have to be as good looking, as funny, as smart, as spontaneous, as interesting, as charismatic as rich as possible. You need to try very hard to be your absolute best. And as you become a better man, you'll crack through different tiers of attractiveness and eventually you get to the top and you'll be able to have any girl you want. But the truth is, I have a lot of guys ask me, similar to your question, a guy will come to me and go, how do I get a girl? I'm like, bro, you're a loser. Yeah, but I know, but how do I get a girl? Well, you're a fucking loser. You're a loser. Why are you asking me? It's like saying, how do I win a race with a push bike? You're racing Ferraris. What do you want me to do? Yeah. There's only so much you can do. There's only so hard you can pedal. There's only so many tricks and, and tips. There's only so many game things you can say, yeah. so many pickup lines. If you're a loser, it's gonna be very, very difficult and it's gonna get harder and harder. The game is rigged to become harder and harder for men. It's not getting easier, it's going the other way. And if you're gonna be on a racetrack and there's gonna be Ferraris there, and you're gonna be on a pedal bike or in a Nissan, you're gonna get smoked. That's yeah. the game. You have no. to up yourself. You have to improve yourself. I'm not going to lie to anybody here and say you don't have to improve yourself. You can stay a loser and, and get chicks because you can't. Yeah. Uh, you can't. Question. What do you think girls want from men? Good question. Do you want the truth or a lie? No, tell me. Do you the, want the, the truth, truth or a lie? Of course. Of course. Know. They all say truth. I want the truth. You could just tell me the truth. Then you tell them the truth and they cry. <laughs> um, every time. Uh, what women want from men? Well, the first thing we have to understand is that... It depends, right? Of course it depends. It depends on how old the woman is, what part of her life she's in, if she's looking for excitement and adventure or she's looking for a family and to settle down, it completely depends. But in general, if a woman is gonna dedicate herself to a man, then that man has to be all encompassing. He yeah. has to be a man who can fix most of her problems. He needs to provide stability and safety which everybody knows, but not many people consider that he also has to provide drama for her. He also has to be entertaining for her. If, you're, if a woman only talks to you and you're the only man in her life and there's never any drama or there's never any, I wouldn't say conflict, I'm not saying necessarily start an argument, but if there's never any drama because drama is excitement, then they're gonna naturally try and find drama somewhere else and that always ends very badly for the man. You don't want them to try and find drama outside of the relationship. Women sit there and watch the Kardashians all day. They're addicted to drama, it's what they care about. Yeah. So if you're a woman's entire world, you also have to be the person who can you have to shock her a bit. You have to be the person who can upset her. You need yeah. to be entertaining, all encompassing from head to toe. Women want to be with a man which keeps them entertained and a man which they trust and a man which they believe can fix all of their problems. This is another important thing. If a woman comes to you with an issue and you can't fix it, you'll see very quickly how, how soon they lose attraction. Would you ever date a Kardashian? Me personally? No, I don't think I would. What's yeah, your celebrity crush? Do I have a celebrity crush? Come on, I'm sure you do. I saw a video of Dua Lipa a long time ago, and okay. she was an Albania, doing an Albanian traditional dance. And I thought she can give me strong Albanian half sons, maybe her, but I think she's some feminist or some crap. So if I, <laughs> if I were to talk to her for more than two minutes, I'd walk out, I'm sure. All right, that's, that's good. At least we got that's something. the answer. All right, now what's your thoughts on abortion? I think it's haram. All right, that's it. Done. Done. I don't think, I don't think that you should be ending human life and it's interesting, right? Because there's a whole big argument about this in the States, but I, I don't think you should be ending human life if your primary concern is that, you know, oh, I'm too young, I need to experience more. Experience what? What, restaurants? How many yeah. restaurants do you have to go to? Yeah. How many times you gotta go eat until you eventually realize going to eat shit? Yeah. I mean, like, I don't see what else there is worth doing. Okay. So, well, what about in cases of rape? Yeah, I, th I think just we'll put that one. Maybe you didn't. No, we can talk about that one. But every single time the abortion argument is brought up, this very specific case is brought up. Let's let's be honest. That's less than 0.1% of all But in abortions. those cases, if they're raped, would you accept an abortion? I, I think that if you're raped by somebody completely random on the street and yeah. a rapist did this to you, then yeah, I think the idea of an abortion makes a lot more sense. Sure. But to say that abortion's okay because women sometimes no. get raped, like that's a false, no, 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 no. that's no, a false not, narrative. In a specific case, case, you know? Cases. It's in a specific case. Yeah. But I think if you're with a man and you're having sex with that man and, and you get, and you get, and yeah. you get pregnant by that man, you should just accept the responsibility he's like a fucking adult yeah. and have, and have some life. And the thing is, as you grow older, if you don't have a bunch of children, your later years are filled with deaths as opposed to being filled with births and life 
I think if you don't have a family yeah. or you don't have children, as you get older, the, the twilight years of your life are just everybody you know slowly dying and there's no new life injected. So yeah. I think it's very important to do and maybe young people don't understand that in time. But all in all, I think there's nothing more worthwhile for people to do than have children. And if you can financially afford it, then that's what you should do. I want to know more about you. How many languages do you speak? One. Why would I learn any other language besides the perfect language, English? I English is the number one best language I'm on gonna earth. Quote Kappa, I, saw, language your, of I kings. saw your brother post on his story that he was looking for an Arabic and Russian teacher. My brother can learn languages. He enjoys <laughs> it. He wants to, right? But I, I, I refuse to speak other, any other language in English for two very important reasons. I feel like you're saying that just so people don't know how many languages you speak. I'm telling yeah, so you. He's he just low-key be understanding Yeah, everyone. he just listens <laughs> to I only everyone. speak English. But I also, but you know what? It's actually interesting. In this part of the world, in Eastern Europe, where I live, Romania, etc., it's very common. In fact, it's completely considered normal for people to speak more than one language because yeah. everyone speaks their normal, their host language and some English. It's very normal. Yeah. When English is your first language, knowing a second language is extremely unusual. Yeah. It's very rare to know a second language and English is your first language. Okay, but if you had to learn a second language, what would it be? I don't think I'd, I don't like, I don't want no, to know a second if language. if you had to. Who cares? Yeah, I mean... Right. It'd be, it would be Russian or Arabic, but, but the, the problem with learning a second language is no matter how hard I study, I will never be as compendious and concise and interesting and compelling in that second language as I am in English. Yeah, so like perfect. In yeah, language. I'm perfect in English. So why would I speak in a language which I don't speak as well as in English? It's a theoretical question. I, I know, but I'm just explaining why I don't learn another language. <laughs> All right. Now, 